is the power of consciousness? Yeah, well, if you think about it, there is a consciousness that we share as human beings. And there's a quality to that consciousness. There's something global about it. Yes, it's individual. Yes, it's cultural. But also, there's a general state that we tend to share as human beings and as a human race. And that quality of consciousness, it's out of that and all the beliefs that are built into it that we've created the world that we're in. So apparently consciousness is very powerful. So what, what happens if the, the quality of consciousness that we're sharing shifts and changes and rises? What if it, there's a carrier wave of love that's moving in conscious awareness? What if we are coming to know each other as, a human be as human beings in a way that we haven't known each other before? Now, what settles for human relations is often somebody throwing a rock over a stone wall or, or the equivalent. We do that as countries. We do that as cultures, as races. Sometimes we even get married and do it as, as, as a married couple. We're not really relating, we're just throwing a rock over a wall. So what would it mean to really relate as human beings, to really get to know each other at a soul level? Yeah. And when we do, there's our own presence that comes into that knowing, and we get to know the presence of another, and there comes to be some kind of collective presence that we're sharing as human beings, a collective consciousness a collective knowing. And then there can be a wisdom that comes into that knowing and how we are together, how we relate together. I can gain wisdom as to what you need and you can gain wisdom as to what I really need. So we begin to fulfill each other's needs. And then we can begin to act wisely on the planet, not just trying to gather as much wealth as we can gather, hoard things and just live in distraction in ways that are destructive for each other and for the world. So there is a power to consciousness. Uh, consciousness can carry uh, the vibration of love and, and a wisdom as to how we fit together as human beings. But it's got to shift and it's got to change. And so here at Sunrise Ranch, we're in a great experiment of consciousness. We, we got together as a group of men at the ranch just this morning, and spoke, we were speaking about exactly this, how we get to be together as men and not be in all those traditional macho male ways of being together, but we get to be together in a way that respects each other and gets to know each other at a soul level and in a way that brings a different consciousness to the women who live at the Sunrise Ranch, a different kind of, of male presence in the world. God knows we need that. Yeah, yeah. That is so interesting. I also have read in Spanish that you have every two weeks something in Spanish. We do. Yes, we do. So we publish a, a Spanish translation Mm -hmm. of what we call the pulse of spirit. So every week we put out uh, the pulse of spirit. That's nice. And it's from a transcription usually of uh, my message on a Sunday morning. So we put that every week, uh, out every week, and then every two weeks we put out um, a, a Spanish translation. And so that's available for anyone who, who wants to find it It's on, in, on our emissaries.org website, emissaries.org. So it's on there under Pulse of Spirit. And you can subscribe. And if you subscribe, it comes in your email every week. And how can we do to contact you? Yes. Um, well, you can join my mailing list at davidcarshare.com. Or you can simply send me an email at dcarshare 
at E-M-N-E-T dot O-R-G. That's really nice. Baby, thank you so much. I, I need that you send a message to all the community uh, because really what you have to speak during this time is wonderful and powerful. And I really appreciate that you dedicate this time to us. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. I, I could have made it more complicated, but I just wanted to get right down to the heart of the matter. I hope I've done that. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, David. Bye for now.